This video is about writing cover letters. Cover letters are critical to the job application process, and yet they are uh, the most hated aspect of the application process. And so we'll focus on how to um, get the right content in a letter and how to, uh, how to assemble it or write it into an, in an effective way, and then how to create multiple letters from your own template. We want to make this as easy and as straightforward as possible. So first a word about why uh, cover letters are so hated. Uh, I think it stems from two major sources, two breakdowns. Um, the first breakdown is around strengths. So we bring a set of skills uh, to the interview or application process, but in some cases we're not sure if those skills really fit in the company context, if they fit uh, as strengths. So that's breakdown one. Breakdown two is really about passion. So we tend to say that we just love this company or we want to work for them, we'd kill to work for them, this kind of thing. But we don't talk about why that is. We all, we'll, we'll talk about what it does for us, why it makes us feel good, why it will elevate our prestige or whatever. But we don't talk about our passion for helping the company, right? And in fact, we are helping them. And that's what we need to frame up when we write the letter. And that proves to be a very challenging question. Because in essence, we're asking ourselves, why do we want to help this company? Why do we want to help this organization? And we're also asking ourselves for evidence. Right? What's the evidence that we have to, to show that we really mean what we say? Or what's our inspiration? Why, are we, you know, why do we want to kill to work at this place? Why do we want to kill to help them? So that's what we're going to figure out here. So whenever we talk about our strengths and passions, uh, it's important to keep in mind the question, so what? Uh, this question helps us figure out if what we're saying is important to our audience, right? is important to the employer in this case. And a, a way that we could lay this out and ask the so what question, make this test, is through this table. So first, uh, you could fill out the factors by taking a job description. Um, the job description will list out however many tasks are there, uh, and it will list out however many discrete aspects um, of subject matter expertise that you need to know. You'll then identify the similarities between those factors and your experience from your career. Um, you'll identify the differences between the factors and your experience in your career, and write out the attractiveness of those similarities and differences. That's going to be key because we need to identify uh, what's interesting and exciting about, about uh, um, what you've done before and want to continue to do, or what's different and what you want to do differently. And finally, you want to show evidence for that, uh, for that attraction. So why do you want to do things differently? Why do you want them to stay the same uh, and continue growing in that area? And if you don't have evidence, you better have some inspiration or some kind of story uh, that will explain all of this. Now, just a sidebar about evidence. You can see from the graphic here that the more direct and more unique the evidence you have, then the more compelling uh, your story will be. Although, you also want to gather evidence across uh, all four quadrants because that will show comprehensiveness uh, in your story. Okay, so to see this in action, let's use an example of a chef uh, that's uh, career switching into management consulting. Now, if we go through uh, the attractiveness and the inspiration and evidence columns, we'll see that the most compelling examples here to use in the letter uh, involve factors surrounding leading teams and business strategy because they come from direct experience, right, versus uh, either um, something that he or she's read or just no evidence at all. So once you have this table together, the next step is to figure out if the employer can deliver on what you find attractive, uh, because that's really the whole point of why you're applying, and that's where the fit is going to be. That's where the fit in your strengths and the fit in your passion will be. So in the next video, we will talk about how to write the letter uh, using data collected in this table. Um, but in the meantime, if you have any questions about what you've seen here, please connect with a career coach or make an appointment to see an advisor. Thank you.